Uh, hi, my name's Craig Gottberry with the State Brewing. Uh, I'm here with my pal out of here. Jack, we're going to take a look here at the uh, brewery that I built and that we're using to run the State Brewing. Uh, so, as you can see, it's a 55 gallon drum system, uh, stainless steel drums I actually ordered off of eBay. And uh, from there, I modified everything heavily. Uh, started with a bunch of different stainless components, but the main the main thing that needed to be done was welding up the, the steel frame for it. So obviously it took a little bit of welding know-how and uh, just spent a lot of time getting that set up and perfect. Um, so what we have here is our, our hot water tank, our mash tun, and our boil coat. Um, obviously, hot water tun, HLT, whatever you want to call it, there's different, different things you can call it. Um, but the difference is this system's all electric. So inside of each one of these tanks is three heating elements. We have uh, three 5,500 watt electrical heating elements, 240 volt, in our hot water, and then we have three 4,500 watt elements in our boil kettle. Uh, what that allows us to do is use all electricity, so that way we don't have a huge exhaust hood, or we're not, we're not using direct fire, or we also don't have a boiler, some of the, some of the larger scale engines. We control all the controls we have over here. So each tank has its own temperature probe, so we how do we monitor those temperatures? And we can also use the electrical heating elements that perfectly the guide on the temperature. Uh, so pretty standard, right? Since we also have two like very small homebrew large pumps down at the bottom that are also controlled off the upstream, stop and off. And then we have silicone hoses that go in between each different setup, hooked up with a triangle in place. Uh, so yeah, pretty classic. Take our hot water, move it over to our mash tun, and let that sit for a designated amount of time, anywhere from you know 40 to 120 minutes. And then when we're done there, we'll move it over to our boil kettle and boil it up. Uh, one of the coolest features about this brewery is definitely the tippy dump on the mash tun. Uh, it makes life a lot easier. So it's on two car hubs. So once our mash is all full and complete, we can just dump it right out through the, uh, through the trash cans that we use to ship off to our farmer through our spec grain. Really super smooth, you know the car hubs hold the weight, they're all bolted in and locked in. It's just a really clean way to take care of your mesh. Uh, and yeah, everything from there is all just uh, great. Move it over to the, the fermenter and life's done. Got our big commercial size plate heat exchange as well. That's pretty big pressure drop across that, that plate heat exchanger, so you need the extra force to try and push it through. And then from there, we'll transfer over to our fermenters. So as I was talking about, after we're done over our brew rig, we're done with our boil, we just transferred through the HLT, we'll go into our uh, stainless steel fermenters over here. Um, if any of you are familiar with this D, you'll know we initially started off with eight plastic fermenters. Uh, what we've done from there is we've moved to four stainless steel fermenters. Uh, they're much more user-friendly, they're a lot more sanitary, I love the plastic for what it did for us as far as a cheap start, but these are definitely the way to go as far as making sure that you're getting consistent, solid beer. We actually started incorporating a lot of barrel aging into our process. Um, I really, we don't have a lot of space here, and I really wanted to get more barrels into our process. So we took, and we, we halved our fermenters to increase the space for, for our barrels. And what we're going to do is we're going to get some racks here shortly. We're going to be able to increase our barrel storage, hopefully to 8, if not 12 barrels in the near future. Um, that's really going to let us kind of play around a lot more with the flavors that we can impart from the barrel. Uh, we have some really cool flavors coming out. We got a, a farmhouse Malbec blend, uh, so it's a beer wine hybrid that we're aging a red wine barrel. Uh, uh, we've had a, this guy's a 1.5 year old Belgian special dark sour that we inoculated with red ice. It's been souring up for a year and a half. So we have some really cool stuff coming, just kind of working with the barrels and trying to get some great flavors to it.